Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Today is very exciting because I am finally returning to Rome after many, many years. The last time I was in Rome was with my family on a vacation back in like 2018, I think it was, maybe 2017. It's been quite a few years and I am lucky enough to have off of Muster 2.0 this turnaround day. So I am going with a few of my cast. Gonna be a chaotic day. It's a really early start to the day. I woke up at six o'clock to get ready to go. So I'm going to meet them at the mess. We're gonna have a quick bite to eat and then we will get off the ship and have ourselves a day. <laughs> I said, okay, I'm starting to get angry. It's nine o'clock and we're still waiting for the shore pass. Thank you. Woo! Sad news is, we're not going to Rome. No, not gonna make it. The fact that I've been up for four hours is appalling. And that we're not even going to Rome, but it's okay. At least we're off the ship. We're off. We're gonna have fun. We found a couple stores that had a few Halloween costumes and I have nothing for Halloween in two days, so I found something. Quick pit stop for some souvenirs. I gotta get my postcard. What you gonna get? Just a market. Just one? One each? This works. Yeah. Over there, Fortress, Sea, Church, Jordan. Time for lunch. They've just brought my carbonara in a literal pan. It looks so good. Well, we have finished lunch. I am so full. I just want to be rolled back to the port, but unfortunately I have to walk myself. We're walking back to the shuttle now. The carbonara was out of this world. And they served it in a pan, which was so interesting. Thoroughly enjoyed my final meal in Italy because our last three port days are in Spain. So, yeah. Back safe and sound, I really want to hang up the shoe rack. Living in this cabin without a shoe rack has been a struggle. The room has just felt messy without organizing the shoes. And like we do our best, but it's such a small space that even just one thing laying out takes up a lot of a lot of room. I couldn't be picky on what kind of shoe rack I wanted or what color because there was literally only one option. So we have a gray one, but this works absolutely fine and it was only four euro you can't get much better than that i definitely need the chair's assistance i'm not sure if the hooks are actually gonna fit around the door frame no oh this isn't gonna work hmm i don't know what i'm gonna do i need to think about this for a minute <laughs> I've tried to problem solve and I've got some gaff tape from Studio B. It might be a little bit janky, but it should hopefully work. So I'm gonna attempt to tape this nice and secure to the back of the door. There was white and black gaff tape, but I was like, you know what? I think black will go better. Alrighty, here goes nothing. So the base is up. Now I'm gonna go over top to reinforce. The real test is gonna be seeing if it holds all the shoes without falling down. I don't think it would hurt to reinforce it a little bit. I gotta be honest with you. I think that this shoe rack is a children's shoe rack. And I say that because the actual shoe slots are very small. 
So my shoes have no problem fitting in them, but I have tried to stuff Callum's shoes. But I can't fit certain shoes into the shoe rack. So I guess the rest of the shoes we're just gonna have to put somewhere else. But that is much better than what it was. I think that looks a lot better. A lot better. The day has flown by. We got back on board. I made it to the gym. Then we had parade. After parade, I did lifts with Graham and those lifts are coming along really nicely. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully we can get some more on the ice soon. And after that, I had dinner in the mess and then back to Studio B because we had rehearsals because Angela actually signed off yesterday. No, today she signed off. And for the crossing, we will be down a skater. So we just had to go through the reblock for that. To finish off the night, we had a little sangria back deck because that was kind of like a special they were having. And now we're gonna go over to Graham and Leo's and watch The Last of Us, which I watched with Callum when we were in England, but we're gonna watch it again. So we're headed over there now. I've got my comfies on, comfies, and then we're gonna get to bed at a decent hour because tomorrow morning, is gonna be very busy because we've got warm up ice and then maddening shows. Good morning, guys. It is a sea day and it is day two of the cruise. This morning we have warm up ice because we have matinee shows, which I have not done in so long. I honestly cannot tell you the last contract that I had a matinee show. I wanna say it was Adventure, which was many moons ago. I'm so sore actually from the gym yesterday. I decided that I wanna start doing more of the Chloe Ting videos. So I'm gonna do my own personal Chloe Ting challenge and try to follow along with her program as much as possible of course fitting in shows and things like that but i'm feeling really sore so i'm going to need a nice long warm-up before i step on the ice so i want to get a jump start on my hair and makeup so that is good to go i've made a coconut iced coffee with oat milk and it's delicious it's everything i want this morning and we're gonna have a great day i actually downloaded a bunch of youtube videos to watch offline so i am just gonna pop one of these on and get to the show prep. I'm all ready to go, just have to throw my lipstick on, of course, right before showtime, but I have changed. I thought I lost this vest yesterday, which was devastating, but it was actually just in Callum's closet, so no need to worry there. Also, I had to adjust the shoe rack last night because I came home from the gym and it was literally on the floor. The tape situation did not work, which I was just getting ahead of myself there thinking that it would be fine, but I kind of knew deep down it wouldn't work. Anyways, 
I found some string, so I have just looped the string through the holes and then hooked it over top. I might readjust and actually shorten the string so it's closer, but for now, it works. Just a little room update. <laughs> Studio B. I have to finish preparing for the show. Notes are going to be at 1.15 because our shows are at 2 and 4 today. So I want to have a little something to eat because I need fuel. So I'm going to have two hard-boiled eggs. I took those from breakfast this morning and then I want to make a little protein shake. I feel like that should hold me over until later. Well, it doesn't look like I can eat the eggs because they don't look fully cooked. They are literally liquidy on the inside and just falling apart. So I don't trust that. The joys of staff mess never fails. Well, I guess this is the best it's gonna get every time I make a mess. So let's see. Oh, that was a pretty solid pour. about 10 o'clock and we have balloon blowing because tomorrow is Halloween so we have to I guess blow up the balloons and they're gonna do a balloon drop from the promenade shows went well today I'm so sore like as the day goes on my legs are even more exhausted from the Chloe Ting video yesterday but we made it through the shows had some dinner I finally washed my hair and that was pretty much it for the day It is actually cold outside. Like it actually feels like fall weather and I don't really have warm clothes in my closet because we're gonna be in the Caribbean and also it was summer in Greece. So I kind of struggled to figure out an outfit. I also feel like I have no clothes in my closet right now. I settled on this, but we are in Cartagena, Spain today. So I am just scrambling to try and get off the ship. Today is actually Halloween, funny enough. So our Halloween party is tomorrow. So today we don't really have anything on the agenda. So um, we're just gonna walk around the town. I've never been here. We actually docked here once when I was on Voyager, but at the time we did not have short leave, so I never got to see it. So I'm pretty excited to walk around. We're gonna maybe get some tapas, maybe some sangria. We'll see where the day takes us, but I am running behind as usual, so I need to scramble to get all of my belongings together. I'm digging the architecture. I never saw this store until we were in Zadar, and I'm obsessed. I love it. It's kind of giving the same vibes as Flying Tiger, but different. Clean. Hmm? Clean. Funnier. This model is by Bing. And by model, I mean mannequin. There's a taste test. 
Those are fully taste tests, no? That's a taste test. Banana. Is it good? Coconut. It's coconut. Mmm. It's so good. There's more taste tests. Absolutely. Literally everything I've tried is delicious. Except for the one that you just tried. You said it's weird. I have no idea what I'm eating, but everything is good. Uh, we ordered vino caliente para de bar, hot wine to go, but now, now I'm not so sure if it's gonna be like malt wine or if it's gonna be like spicy. <laughs> Chili flakes in the <laughs> wine. <Jalapeno> wine. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> Adios. Okay, I think we did well. I think we did well. Here goes nothing. So good. <laughs> Little treat. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Bye. We just sat down for some lunch. We are at La Tia Juana. I speak English little, little. It's okay. Poquito. Oh, yeah, he knows. Y del rojo que. Vale, es un tequila, una combinación. El tequila es el rojo y tomate. Se toma pasando el dedo por el chile seco que está en el plato. Se toma la sangrita que es el rojo. Y después el gusano tonto que sería el blanco. Red y solo tomate. Tomato. Mmm. It's been a really nice day. I've made it back on board. And to be honest, it doesn't really feel like Halloween just because we don't have any sort of event this evening. But the party is going to be tomorrow. And I'm really excited that I found something to wear for my costume. So I will show you that tomorrow evening. But I feel like a bit of a slug. I haven't done anything active all day. Like we walked around, but I drank and I ate. So... I really want to get a sweaty workout in and move my body a bit so I'm feeling better about myself. So I'm going to head up to the gym now. I do think it's going to be a chill night just because tomorrow will be a late night with the Halloween party and all that. But we do gain an hour of sleep tonight, which is exciting. So maybe it'll be just like a cozy night in the cabin. We'll make like a decaf coffee or maybe like a tea and watch a Halloween movie. have freshened up we are actually going to head to the windjammer for dinner tonight we thought we might as well because we neither of us have anything really like the outfit i didn't have anything orange to wear for halloween so this is as good as it's getting but i had a really killer workout in the gym so i'm very exhausted from that and sore but we're gonna power through and then we'll be back at it again tomorrow also, I bought this bag at the cruise sale like two or three weeks ago, can't really remember, but I eyed it up on Wonder and then it was on sale. So I took it as a sign and I just, I love it so much.
today is day four. It is November 1st, which is honestly insane. I don't know where October went. The month went by so fast. I blinked and it was over. That also means that we have been on board for three months, which is even more wild. Time is just flying by. We went an hour back last night, so I woke up at seven feeling wide awake, which was incredible because I want to start waking up earlier. So I got up and I went to the gym. I did my Chloe Ting workouts and then I had some breakfast, a protein coffee, which was delicious and worked an hour of Wi-Fi. So I did sign up for open ice. So I am going to skate. I want to go over my understudies again, just because you never know when you're going to have to go in. So I just want to feel really, really confident about those. So I'm going to get on the ice. And I think also I might do some lifts with Graham. It's uh, a busy sea day ahead. And then the rest of the day, I'm going to do laundry. I need to edit a bunch. And then I want to go for a nice walk. And then this evening is the Halloween party. Even though yesterday was Halloween, our celebrations are tonight. So I am very excited. We'll get ready together and it's going to be good. <laughs> Skating was nice. It's so rocky. Graham and I didn't end up getting any lifts on the ice just because it's all new to us. And again, if it's rocky, it's not the most safe. So we ended up just skating. We did some stroking and edging together, which was really nice. We worked on all of the lifts off the floor after. So we got all of the lifts done and now it's time to get some lunch in the mess because I'm hungry and it is 1.15. I'm gonna go there and then Hopefully I can have some good luck with laundry and get a lot of computer work done. Here we are. I made a salad again, as always. They had bean, beef broth with tortellini, but it's actually just dumplings. So it's like dough balls, false advertising. I dress at production shows and I have gotten ready for the Halloween party so this is the final fit I'm wearing a little bralette with some like high-waisted trouser shorts I'm borrowing these from Emily one of the dancers because I did not pack mine but anyways and then I found this amazing red blazer yesterday and these in Italy on turnaround day and I've done some very red makeup I forgot about this I also found this a prop we'll put this together and then I think we're gonna meet up with some of the cast and then we will head there I'm pretty excited I'm actually quite happy with how the final look turned out considering this was the most last-minute makeshift costume and I'm really excited about this blazer because I can actually rewear it because I like it Should I do like we're ready Should I do? Some... Should I do, like, do you have a yellow eyeshadow? I gotta change for my costume. <laughs> do you have a yellow eyeshadow? Oh yeah. No, you need, you need to, do you want me to bring it? Huh? 
Makeover in progress. No, I just because I made myself. What are you? Like I got beaten up. Today is day five. Is it day five? Today is another port day. We do have drill this morning and we had a little bit of a later arrival into port. So that means that drill started late. It is 11 o'clock. So I don't predict we'll be finished with drill until like 1230. We do have a new captain though. So maybe it will be a little bit faster than it's been. I'm hoping we'll see. But yeah, last night was really fun. Party was fun. It was a late night. I surprisingly am not that tired. It's probably going to hit me later today, but for now I'm ready to seize the day. We'll do drill and then hopefully we can zip off the ship quickly. Just sat down at this like family owned restaurant in the city center. We ordered some tapas and I'm so hungry I cannot even explain the level of hunger I am experiencing right now. I have a good feeling about the place and the reviews were good, so we're all here. I've ordered a Coke Zero, crispy Coke Zero. It's a great day. our feast I am so over full I ate way too much literally I want to be rolled back to the ship but uh, we're gonna walk it off hopefully digest a little bit but it was very very good here in Spain we are so cultured Mick cafe we made it to the mall It's an outdoor mall which is really cool it looks quite new Look at the shopping over there. This is promising. Not me wanting to buy a table. <gasps> Christmas stuff! Show me the money! Things at the top would extend past like the thing of the TV. It's a little bit tall, but I feel like it would still work. That's Wait, there's that one. A hundred dollars. I've done a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Only way it fits. Look at her ticket. I did what had to be done, okay? <laughs> I have successfully made it on board with all the belongings, including my new furniture. I'm so excited. The people in the port security were so confused as to why I was bringing a literal bookshelf on board. But like, the girls that get it, get it, and the girls that don't, don't. I am going to try and build this myself. I have full confidence that I'll be able to do it. I'm so excited to have this done. The room is going to just feel totally different once it's organized and I can get rid of this desk because I just don't like it. Without further ado, let's let's get to building. <laughs>
can see, this is much taller than the table we had, so I'm going to have to reorganize all this and move it. So for now, I'm just gonna take everything down so that I can put the TV up and kind of go from there. Go along with the shelves, I did buy two little cubes. So I just went with the black because I thought it would go best with the oak. So we'll just slide that there. I've set up just a few things on the shelves and I'm so happy with how this turned out. This cord does bug me a little bit, but it does have to just go through there to connect to the TV, so it's not that big of a deal, but PlayStation is set up, so now Kellen won't have to set it up and put it away. We've got the cubes in the middle, and then I'm gonna have to play around with the bottom shelf, but I'm so excited to have more storage, and it just looks so much nicer in the cabin, to be honest. And then I still need to play around with placements of everything on the wall, but we will definitely get to that at another time. <laughs> 